Good morning, kindergarten. Please stand for our pledges. And remember, put your right hand on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again, with life and liberty for all who believe. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I'll make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. Let's get ready to put our body armor on. All right, ready? The breastplate of righteousness, the sturdy bow to truth, the shoes of peace which come from the good news, salvation is our helmet, the sword of the spirit which is the word of God, and faith is our shield. Be blessed. All right. Let's continue with our calendar. Get some things around here. All right. So today we're back. It's Monday. Today is Monday, May 4th. All right. It's tomorrow will be Cinco de Mayo. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But so today is Monday. It's partly cloudy today. And tomorrow is Tuesday. And let's do our countdown of our days of school. I have 17 on here. Which I'm not sure if this is right yet. I'm gonna have to look up and double check. Um, but 17. So if we're counting backwards, what would I be changing the seven to? What do you think the seven will be changed to? Let's see if you are right. Is it written on here? Changing the seven to a six. 16 days of school left. And let's write the date down. The date is, remember May is our fifth month now. We count one, two, three, four, five. Move this over so you can see our months. Remember if we count down May, one, or January, February, March, April, May, we count them down there. May is number five. So that's how we get five for our month. What day is it? Look on our calendar, what day? Four. And what's the year? 2020. So we write the 20 down. So 5, 4, 20. So it's 5 4 20, which is May 4th, 2020. Okay. Alrighty. Let's continue with our phonics. Let's move some things around here. Our phonics letters, letters and sounds. Ready? Say them with me. K says k, U says uh, M says m, mm. Z says z, B says b, I says i and i, W says w. V says V, O says A and O, P says P, R says R, Y says Y, E and I, S says S and Z, L says L, J says J, A says A and A, F says F, C says k and s. H says h. E says e and e. Q says qu. T says t. X says k s. G says g and j. 
N says N. D says D. Now back to K. Do our lowercase. Ready? D, N, G, X, T, Q, E, H, C, F, A, J, L, S, Y, R, P, O, V, W, I, B, Z, M, U, K. Back to D. All right. Let's continue with our color words. Ready? Orange, white, brown, gray, green, pink, red, yellow, black, blue, purple, back to orange. Number words. And number words. Ready? One, seven, ten, five, two, four, eight, six, nine, three, back to one. And our days of the week. Ready? Saturday. Thursday, Sunday, Friday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, back to Saturday. And our surface words. We got a new word this week. It's an easy peasy lemon squeezy word. It's two letters. It's the word do. And I'll read to you on the back it says. What will we do after our chores? Well, I have an idea what you could do after you do your chores. Play, huh? That's probably what most kids do after their chores. They play. So that's our new word for the week, do. All right, you ready? Do, hear, for, Bible, some, where, Father, to, want, give, was, love, said, what, they, orange, you, there, have, to, are, has, come, put, a, uh, the, off, Jesus, is, purple, mother, of, his, and back to do. All right, and last but at least our months of the year. Our months of the year. Ready? Let's start with June. January, September, April, December, February, July, March, November, May, August, October, back to June. All right. All right, this week we're going to, well, up next we're going to talk about, read you a story about Columbus. I believe it's about Columbus. And so we're going to just be learning about some historical places this week. Um, we'll learn about like our flag, the White House, um, Mount Vernon, that's where uh, President Washington lived. So we'll learn about those kinds of things this week. So get your phonics out and I'll be, get ready to read you your story.